everyone makes a lot of mistakes in their lives we are human beings and we are bound to make mistakes but the differentiating factor between a person who is successful and who has not achieved anything is that the person who has achieved something does not repeat his mistakes at all he'll take those mistakes to his mind analyze what went wrong and then he'll just cover up on that mistake and improve the next time so that he is not going to repeat that mistake and at the same time he's accepting the mistake that he has done something wrong and is not going to do that again so as i could that making mistakes is quite easier than accepting it let's try to accept our mistakes and then if we accept our mistakes we'll know that where we need to improve and that time only we'll be able to generate that skill set so in this video i'm going to share one of my mistake which i regret the most and i think you should all avoid making this mistake if you're in your school days or if you're in your teenage right now So I think one of the biggest mistakes which I've made is that I was very shy person and I never used to ask any kind of question during my childhood days be it my school days or college days there was this uh, little nervousness in me which used to be there whenever I used to think that if I ask any question what if other people are going to laugh or maybe what if the tutor is going to scold me be it if you are in your CA final IPCC CPT or if you are a student who is in your academics and if you are studying 11th or 12th you always have this kind of fear that there are people who are better than you or maybe there are some students students who are going to dominate you or they are going to demean you if you ask something wrong so trust me it's not going to matter after one year what had happened one year back you know like i put it differently so no one is going to remember what had happened one year back and therefore you should just think in this manner that agar maine aaj koi bhi sawal pooch liya aur suppose teacher ko acha nahi laga ya fir koi bhi students ko acha nahi laga ek saal baad kisi ko ye yaad nahi rehne wala hai so this is one of the biggest mistakes which i think i have done during my childhood and school days and i think that i was able to overcome this only by having this fact kept in mind that it's not going to matter even if i'm going to ask something stupid or something silly you should constantly have that questioning mindset and today i'm going to share one story with you of a scientist who used to have this cross questioning mindset and because of which he was able to become a scientist so his name is isidore rabi so he was a nobel laureate in physics he was awarded as a nobel prize and you know like in new york times when they interviewed him that what made you a scientist so what was his answer you'll be stunned to listen to his answer so he stated that my mom made me a scientist so the journalist was asking this question was of course shocked and then the journalist asked like how did your mom help you become a scientist so he replied that every other mom in israel every other mom used to ask their child that what did you learn something new in your school today so every other mom used to ask that uh, if you did you learn anything new like what was your learning in the school and share those learnings but on the other hand isidor rabi's mother she used to ask him that what is one question or maybe what are some questions you asked in the school today so always he used to have that curious mindset and i think because of this curiosity only he was able to become a scientist and he stated this in his interview so you know being curious is very underrated trait in today's generation so it's like any person not having the relevant qualification or expertise if he has curiosity that is going to lead him to become a very successful person because that is what is required in today's era if you are working in a corporate or let's say if you are working under someone if you are an entrepreneur and if you want to deep dive into a specific subject being inquisitive is very very important because that is going to lead you to ask why again and again even if you get answer to one problem you will have to deep dive and you will have to ask why this happened if you get the answer to that question then again you will have to ask why this happened and once you go to the root cause of the problem i think that's the time when you will be able to develop that sense of having a cross questioning mindset so it's very important that you keep questioning yourself keep questioning all the assumptions and keep questioning whatever is coming to your way so that even you are curious and even you will have that ability and confidence to ask questions even if they are stupid or foolish so you know there is a famous chinese saying i'm sure all of you would have heard the person who asks a question remains a fool for 5 minutes but a person who does not ask a question remains a fool forever so i have regretted so many times after the class i used to think that even after costing class or direct tax class i used to have this one question in my mind which i used to think yaar ye maine puchna chahiye ya nahi puchna chahiye to tum sabke dimag mein bhi aisa hota hoga yaar ye question main puchu ya nahi puchu yaar agar maine suppose ye question pooch liya to yaar teacher ko daat degi ya fir koi bhi friends hasne lag jayenge and all these like there are a lot of students who are of this type and trust me this is going to be very dangerous because this is going to hamper your future performance if you have that confidence and if you have that courage to ask questions in front of 150 to 200 students when you are in your ca finals or when you are in your childhood then it means that even if you are working somewhere in the future you will have that courage to ask any question to the ceo cfo or you'll have the ability to ask any question to a startup if you are investing in a startup or any investor if you want to show that pitch deck to an investor so this is a very underrated trait and i think this mistake is the one which i really regret the most but of course having said this i have really tried my best in order to 
improve this mistake and improve this weakness which was there during my childhood days so the only way i was able to overcome this is that by thinking that there's not going to be anything wrong which is going to be done to me if i ask something foolish or something silly the worst case is that people are going to laugh for let's say five minutes they are going to remember this for two days or three days maximum and after a week or after a month no one is even going to remember what had happened so with this mindset only you should go wherever you go in your life so again aisa hota hai na like if you are you're asking a question to your friend you're very free and you're very comfortable to talk to your friend because you know that he or she is not going to judge you because you know him very well similarly the way you talk to your friend and ask him doubts you should ask these doubts to your tutors be it in your any coaching institution or be it anywhere you are there because if you keep any doubts pending it will go back to your memory and you will think that are yaar ye to maine pending rakh diya aur agar exam mein aisa question aa jata hai to i'll not be able to solve this kind of a this kind of a question so i think that having this kind of a mindset where you can keep asking questions is definitely going to help you even in the future so i was watching one podcast when kunal sir stated that he never finishes one book okay so he stated that whenever he's reading one book he'll never finish that book because he'll come across some one word or maybe one sentence where he'll just go on google search on internet and just deep dive into that topic so it's like he's not going to finish any book he's just going to keep searching whatever is written in that book so for example if there's a word which is written in the book he'll go on google and just deep dive into that topic if he comes across something interesting in the article which he's researching then he'll go and find about that article and that piece so this is how the chain is built so he's not able to finish any book but this is how the chain towards achieving things is built so you are connecting the dots and this is when you can have that curious and inquisitive mindset and that is definitely going to be of utmost significance so once you have this curious mindset you know any question even in the examination is not going to be difficult because if you have the curious mindset it's like you're going to solve each and every question and your brain is going to think that are yaar ye maine solve kiya tha aur agar ye mere ko nahi aata to mere mere brain ko kuch to bhi samjhaya tha jisse ye question solve ho gaya tha and this is definitely going to help you even in your examinations so be curious be inquisitive i think this is very very underrated and once you start deep diving into things and become an expertise of one topic that is when you can explain that topic to anyone else so if you want to become an expertise of that topic so try to ensure that even if you want to explain that topic to a 5 year old you will be able to easily explain that topic and the 5 year old should understand whatever you have taught and then only i can say that you have become an expertise in that topic so be curious be inquisitive and i think having that curious mindset is definitely going to be of utmost significance once you grow ahead even in your career and even if you try to get into entrepreneurship wherever you go that is definitely going to be of utmost significance so giving an example of case interviews in these consulting firms so all these case interviews which happen what they want they want you to be curious and they want you to go to the root cause of the problem so for example if the case interviewer is asking you that there is a decline in profitability then you have to deep dive whether it is a decline in price or if it is due to decline in volume if it is due to decline in volume then what are some of the factors whether it is due to production like there was some supply squeeze whether the demand fell or whether there is any other external exigency which happened and then if there's supply production short then you have to ask why would that happen why would the production have it stopped or maybe why would there have been a decline in the production so once all of these are in place then only you go to the root cause of the problem and then only you are selected in all these consulting firms so being curious is one of the most underrated trait don't make this mistake of not asking questions anywhere try to keep questioning yourself try to keep questioning whatever is told to you and don't agree simply because the person is stating facts you have to cross check and cross examine and once you start cross examining then only you will be able to build your own opinion it's very important to build your own opinion wherever you go in life ahead and once you start building your own opinion that's when you can be able to apply that opinion and share your thoughts and ideas so if you're working in a corporate then it's very important that you share your thoughts and ideas so again giving you a very good example of colgate so colgate was a company in 1950s what had happened is that their employee had given this idea that the diameter of the toothpaste should be increased a little bit so due to this what will happen is that people who are using colgate the amount of paste is going to increase because the diameter has increased of course we are not going to realize if the diameter has increased slightly or not but because of this reason their turnaround was completely amazing and they were able to sell a lot of toothpaste because the repeat order was more as a lot of people used to use that toothpaste and they didn't realize that they are using more toothpaste they used to buy them quite frequently and because of this revenue of colgate increased by 40% and that employee was given a huge award so you know like keep sharing your ideas and thoughts you never know that even a small idea can be a big turnaround for the company 
so i think that is it that this mistake i regret the most of not asking questions and being a very shy person try to network with a lot of people try to ask questions try to understand different mindset of people and this is going to broaden your horizon and expose you to different perspectives reach out to linkedin reach out on emails reach out on instagram anywhere and the worst which is going to happen is that they won't reply that's the worst thing and nothing else so i hope that this video will make you to become a curious person and once you become curious then only you will be able to ask the right set of questions asking right set of questions is more difficult than giving the right set of answers so try to ensure that you have that experience of asking the right set of questions and once you ask right set of questions then only you will be able to go ahead in your life so i hope this video was useful for all of you if you do like this video share it with all your friends and subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos for all of you thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video